Morning all and welcome to this training 20. We have got a upper body strength session today so we're going to get warmed up straight away. Bring it into all fours first, we're just going to arch around the back. Yep, yeah, another upper body strength session. We've got two sets of three exercises, so two triceps to go through today. Just keep arching around that back. Then we'll go for some reach throughs. Take it into some cobra into child's pose first of all. So cobra here. And sit back. Child's pose, stretch out those shoulders. Cobra. And back to child's pose. Cobra again. This time we're going to go take it into a downward dog rather than a child's pose. So up we go. Yeah. Back to Cobra. And then we'll hit one more downward dog. And then from here we go press up position. One leg up to the side into that strider. We're going to take that arm up, reach, and then reach through. Reach, and through, up, and through, up, through, we'll swap sides there, reach up, through, Final one. Cool. All right. So take it easy there. Exercise one. We're going to jump straight into it. We have got a hin half Hindu press up today. So the regression for this level one is going to be a pike, which we've worked on before, and before that's a downward dog. So eight reps. Level one is just a downward dog, like so, back and forth here. That's level one. Level two is a pike, where we're in this press here, we press down in that diagonal and back up. That's level two. And level three is a Hindu, where you're trying to scoop right down and swoop through and up, like so. These are difficult. So you go down, Swoop through, elbows don't touch the floor, but they don't come close. And you reset here. See how my elbows drop as I press through, head goes close to the floor, and I'm out into that half Hindu. Uh, rather than reversing it back, you just take it back to here, okay? So eight reps of that half Hindu first. We're gonna give that a go. Downward dog, level one, pike press up level two, half Hindu level three. Choose one, eight reps, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. From there, we're going to go into half walkouts. So we're going to start in this press up position, walk our hands up until we're standing, but keep my hands to the floor and then back out. So it looks like this. See here, walk your hands up to this position and then just walk your hands back to that plank. There's no real levels to this. Um, what you can do if you really struggle, you keep your legs bent though. So you just come in, bend the legs and then extend at the top. Bend the legs as you come back down and walk back out if you struggle with mobility, okay? So that will kind of be your level one. So 
We've got five reps here. So as soon as you're ready, join in with me. Off we go. One. Two. Three. Four. And then exercise three is a reverse plank for reps. Now level one is your crab. Where we're here, you have your hands preferably facing this way. If that's too uncomfortable for you, then it's fine to have them facing backwards. Um, the crab we're looking for, up and back down like so, okay? Arms up, down, up you go, and back down. Our level two is the reverse plank for reps. So you're here, come down, you drive up, and then back down. Up, and back down. Like I said, either on the shoulders with your hands that way, so if you struggle, hands behind, and open up there instead. But we're going for eight reps here. So either crab or reverse plank, Choose your hand position, shoulders back and down, bum up, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. So there are our first three. I'm going to go back through them straight away, starting back with those half Hindus or pike press up or down dog. So back in we go for eight reps. Obviously the Hindus take longer, so make the most of your rest, or you can jump straight into the next exercise and go ahead. We've got eight reps here first of all. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, and into the wall cast. One, two, three, four. And turn it over, our reverse planks. Eight reps here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Put a little rest there. We're going to have one more round of these three before we move it on. So we got a little drink. This is strength, so we are going a bit more rest in. But not loads, seeing as we are still just doing body weight. Work on the high levels if you can. Work towards them if you can't. And um, by including these exercises in your workouts, and you'll eventually improve your strength and get there. So here we go, into these half Hindus. Final time for eight reps. Off we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, into these walkouts, one, two, three, four, Turn it over. 
into these reverse planks and we move off the mat, Get kicking it up. Here we go, eight reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Have a little breather there. Moving on to our second three. So we've got an explosive press up, a forearm plank scaps, which I'll take you through, and then elbows up plank. So, explosive press up first. Level one, as always, is kneeling. As well as that, if you struggle with the explosive, the jump and the press up, then just get rid of it and do normal press ups. So, I'll see. Kneeling press up. Level one will be just a full press up. Level two is you're trying to build up some explosiveness. You go down, push up, try and get those hands to power off the floor like so, okay? Quite tough on the knees. Obviously it makes it easier for you to do the, the press up motion. Same with level two. Obviously just do a full press up if you can't do the jump because it can be hard on the wrists. But make sure your wrists are in a strong position here. Level two, full press up, or explosive press up, you go down, power up, like so. Okay? So we're not getting high, we're not doing a clap or anything. We're actually testing ourselves rather than doing a clap to see how far we're actually getting off the floor. It feels like a lot further when you'd be able to clap. But by doing this, you're seeing how far, how explosive you've been. So we're gonna do eight reps here. We'll do this one first. Here we go, so choose your level, eight reps, there with me a sec. Just gonna take my feet off here. All right, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, There we go, eight reps there. Forearm plank scap. So we're in a forearm plank next. Like we've done this exercise here before, we're squeezing those scaps together and back. You can do this actually here if you struggle with forearms. You can also do it on the knees if you struggle with a full plank. But what we're looking for is a forearm one, which takes a bit more control. Squeeze those scaps and back up and down, like so, and on the feet, if you can. Really good back control there, we're going for eight reps. Come and give it a go with me. So here we go, forearms, squeeze, and back. Maintain that plank, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. That's exercise two. And then exercise three is an elbows up plank. So we're back on the elbows. I'll show you kneeling first. Rather than forearms in this way, you're gonna turn them sideways like so. You bring an elbow up, so your, elbow, your forearm is facing the ceiling, whilst your other forearm is flat against the floor. Bring it back down and you swap it over. Exactly the same for level two, but on the feet, like so. Okay? So that's our exercise three. We're going eight on each side. So bring it in, choose your level, and off we go. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. There we go, there's our three. We've got five minutes left. We're squeezing two more rounds, so we're gonna get straight back into those explosive press-ups. So with me for eight reps, 
Choose your level. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going into those scat exercises. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're into that elbows up plank, eight on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool, nice. We've got a couple of minutes left to get this spine around. Have a little breather. Grab a quick drink if you can. I'll give you another 10, 15 seconds. And we should have just enough time to get this spine around. All right, bring yourselves down. Here we go, far and explosive press-ups. Eight reps. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it onto these, what are they called? <laughs> Forearm plank scaps. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're finishing off with those side planks. Eight on each side. Off we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Cool. Rest there. Got off, got to throw off three rounds. So well done, we're gonna take it into a stretch. So bring it to this child pose again. Chest down, stretch out those shoulders. Control your breathing. From here, you can take an arm through, keeping that arm up so you feel that stretch down here. And then same on the other side. Take it into a cobra again, give that core a bit of a stretch. Control your breathing as best you can. Bring it onto your knees. I'm going to go arm across. Stretch out that deltoid here. Onto the other side. Open up the shoulders. Nice big circles. And relax there, well done. So six exercises, quite tough on the upper body there. Really good body weight exercises. Hope you enjoyed it. You join me tomorrow for a conditioning core circuit. So I'll see you then.